modded fossil. Jesus Christ, Darren. What? I mean, speak with some respect. With respect? Yeah. Welcome back to Modern Fossil, the I... channel that you have so cordially and kindly decided to view. You're just like, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, you know, it's a very difficult job. You know, it's just like, there's a lot of stuff that I have to say. You know, you're pretty shit at, you know, uh, picking characters. So, like, they're all dead because, you know, you're, you're terrible at doing that. Who would so, have thought that, like, I was just like, I'm just going to pick all the characters to start. Yeah. Who would have thought they all die? Uh, not me. I lost two characters at once. Yeah. And they were my two favorite characters to voice. But, you know, you only have two characters left, so you better Damn. hold Dude. onto them dearly. All right. Yeah, I got a, uh, hold on, I got a, uh, uh, Kyoko and, um. Toko, yeah. Toko. Yeah. Fucking hell. So, yeah, last time, uh, Hifumi, Taka, and Celeste died. Yeah. So, and this is right after, uh, right after the trial, Celeste gave Kyoko the key to where, uh, she hid, uh, Alter Ego. Yes. And we are now, we left the courtroom, and we rushed to the dressing room. Are we recording on this one? Well, let's hope so. We are. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoka looked back at us and said, Hey. <clears throat> I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. What? Why exactly are you going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll, I'll go too. <laughs> As, what? Who? What? Who said that? You. Please, let me go. Stop holding me, man. <laughs> Standing here arguing is just gonna draw more attention to us. Goodbye. Hmm. Do whatever you want. Thank you, Biakuya. Well, then. it's up to you now. Yo. I'm gonna go to the <laughs> dining hall, okay? Huh? So Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go... together? <laughs> ah, does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Goes like you're a total push off when you show a little backbone. I tried to forget what Hina said. Uh, everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Well, shall we? <laughs> Yeah! That's all I say! Yeah. You literally have to so read a book the rest of the I game! I know! <laughs> we need to get into that locker. Yoko took the key that Celeste had given her and unlocked the locker. And the locker swung open, we saw! You're really cool. Oh, you have three characters alive! Oh, oh nice. thank god! Ooh. Good morning. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> it's safe, thank goodness. I really hurt Kyoko sounds so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. No. Oh, and... I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. Uh. I'm doing my best, so please wait just a while longer. <laughs> So now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident's concerned, sure, but... Can we take a second? Uh, since we have the opportunity... I want you to be honest with me. Kyoko, please tell me. What were you trying to do all on your own here at the school? You... Is that why you wanted to come here with me? However... Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. I don't need to know. That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared. I didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do that. Indeed. It's only natural that they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too. No! I... I believe in you. What? You believe in me? Isn't it obvious? Because people believe in their friends, right? That's why I want you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. 
because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Then maybe I can believe in you just a little bit more. Then that's fine. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see, I fell asleep from what boring shit Kyoko said. <laughs> what I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believed in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. I decided I had to confirm what she told me with my own two eyes, so I waited for nighttime to come. And when it did, I went into action. Correct. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And in the storage closet there, way in the back... <laughs> She said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but why was she in the boys' bathroom? Could Kyoko really be right about this? <sighs> oh god. Gotta reach for the keyboard. Ah. <sighs> it's a troll. <gasps> it's just a normal storage closet, as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about? Could it really be hidden here? I went into the bucket and sloshed around in the water. <laughs> she said it was way in the back of the storage closet. I mean, but, but I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet, and suddenly, as if I was being yanked in. Whoa! At the same time I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ, there's a pile of bricks here again. Oh, God. I had fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out the back wall was like a revolving door, and I made my way to the other side, just like Kyoko had said. Correct. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And way in the back of that closet, there's a secret room. So this is the secret room. But what's in here? A desk. It looks quite nice. Burgundy, baby. It's <laughs> just a normal desk with normal drawers. Oh, is it just a normal desk with normal drawers? It's, there's also a bunch of files and what looks like volume after volume of new books. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. It's with the Academy Student Registry. This is the only thing here not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file into my hand, but before I had the chance to look, take a look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file, and I turned my attention to it. What's this? You must not leave. It's kind of weird. I mean, I, I can understand if it said, like, I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels funny. This strange sensation sensation <laughs> makes me not even pronounce words correctly. <laughs> it's like deja vu. Those words. You must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before. But I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I... I... What the fuck? Oh, God damn it! I fell through another sh fucking wall <laughs> of bricks again! This a strange Who sound. Who was this on the ground? Oh, what the fuck, dude? Who keeps placing these here? <laughs> a strange sound ran out through my head. It felt like it was it was shaking my brain back and forth. I feel like that was... That's actually a... Uh, that's a concussion. And then darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. Ow! Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. I fell through a wall of bricks. That's all I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved that much at least. Hmm. An empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty? Gone. 
It's all gone! The yearbooks and the student registry and even a note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does this mean? But my brain refused to do any more work. I've forgotten my known name. Ah, oh, well, shit. And the insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room. Get some rest. Mm, 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 mm. Dude, I bet like four people are dead. Oh, Betty. Uh, oh well. Game over then, I guess. Game over. Mm -hmm. My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back toward my room. Somehow I made it back to the first floor of the school. <clears throat> the farther I walked, the more I felt things are getting blurry. I can't see what in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that... Huh? As if from a vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint, but undeniable. <laughs> that sound... It's coming from... The gym? As if... As I desperately hauled my shaky frame toward the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? They can't do nothing. Here? In the gym? I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. Give me some dumb shit. The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. What the fuck? What the hell? Before me, there raged a battle beyond anything humanly possible. <laughs> no. One side's not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal! <sighs> deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. <sighs> I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> what am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then... Could it be? The mastermind spy is... Oh my god! Hmm. Find my thing. Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ. <sighs> uh, okay. Uh, to get over a pretty cool scene, uh, I'm gonna tell you the freedom events of the dead people right now. Okay. Okay. So, Taka. All right. Uh huh. Since he died first, Taka. He, did, he dedicates every morning. Uh, fuck! I already fucked up. He dedicates every moment of his time to studying so that he could be an important factor to the future of the country. And since he spends so much time studying, that is the reason he has trouble talking to people. He's freaking out right now because he can't attend classes while he is trapped in him. Makoto calls Taka a genius, but Taka hates it when people call him that because it seems like uh, uh, it seems it, it, when people call him a genius, it seems like uh, he did not try to get where he is right now. Uh, he likes to think that he is the same as Makoto, but he puts in the effort into who he is. Another reason he does not like geniuses was because of his grandfather, who is a uh, former prime minister of Japan. Yeah, he, uh, he was also called a genius, but he got roped into a corruption scandal. And the world, and the and the world of geniuses would be horrific to the world. Instead, the world should be led by effort. That's what he says. Ifumi, 
Okay. Uh, Alright. Hifumi, he does not want people to be bigots when it comes to fanfiction. He also likes anime. He then forces Makoto into cosplaying. There's an entire FTE. Wait, uh, a free time event, by the way. Okay, yeah, okay. The, the, Thank the, you. The, I didn't know what the hell that meant. Yeah, yeah. There's an entire free time event where Hifumi freaks out because he hasn't had any Diet Coke for a while. <laughs> I believe that would have been the next one that we would have viewed. Uh, a little quote from him. I would literally murder everyone in here for a can of Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to leave so that he can watch anime. He also fell in love with the anime character, where he got his, uh, where he got famous for making fan fiction of him. Finally, he wants to make an original IP while also making fan fiction. That's it. That's all for uh, for Hifumi. Wow. So Hifumi was like the exact opposite of what I thought he was. Yeah. He had the, the most shallow character in the whole game. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like you literally overthought him. Uh, Celeste, uh, she explains why she is a good gambler, uh, because she's lucky. Uh, she tells story about uh, stories about insane games that she has won, like Russian Roulette. Uh, she really likes her name, and she is adamant that that is her real name. She also wants people to live at a host uh, peacefully, so that there would not be any murders. She also wants to know how to play Shogi, because she won an underground Shogi tournament despite not knowing how to play. She just plays the pieces randomly. She did, uh, she did reveal a crisis that happened to her during a game. She made a bet on all of her- uh, she made a bet uh, for all of her assets, and had to challenge the fiercest competitors in the tournament. But the, the actual crisis was that she spilled some tea on her and she was afraid the stain would not be washed out. She also reveals that she hires professional hitmen to kill people that she hates. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A lot of info there, so... Alright. Holy shit, Sayaka's dead! She's dead again! <laughs> oh! Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon get executed. Ah, oh, fuck, my time went off. It was like at 15. And Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Hifumi. Then she got executed. And that brings us up to now! The next money in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. Now there's only five of us here. Only a third of the people we started with. Indeed. <clears throat> Loneliness has become commonplace. That's true. Still... What did I see yesterday? Was that because of my concussion? I don't understand. Is that Chris the mastermind spy? Could that really be true? Makoto, are you okay? Uh, no, 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 I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Oh, fuck. Don't look at me. Okay, in that case, let's eat until we pass out. Huh? What do you mean in that case? Well, because look how scary everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting, fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you feel your be uh, belly, I'm sure you'll cheer up. So let's eat. Okay. Let's fight up, uh, fight up some fish and donuts and we'll eat until we can't stand up. It's like a deep impact style. <laughs> Meteor impact. Extinction level a, comb a combination of foods. Huh? What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. Since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have Alter Ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. Why are we talking about Alter Ego in the fucking open with those cameras, you fuckers? She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future, specifically about the computer that's in the, in the bathhouse right now. That's away from Monokuma that Monokuma can't find out about. You With the combination, that's 052693. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deathy thoughts. You know? Like, when we're gonna get out of here, right? For serious. When this is all over, I think I wanna be reborn for serious. Uh, I mean, reborn as someone serious. And I'm smelling my finger again. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. Hmm. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't going to be any more murders. Oh, fuck. A heart attack. <laughs> huh? 
What makes you so sure? According to I predicted spirit. it last night. There's a revealed itself for me to the, uh, from the ether. There's no doubt about it. However, how accurate is your fortune telling anyway? How about that? I can usually hit 20, 20 or thirty percent on a good day. Hmm. It seems really low. It's not like some well, occult mystery. Well, yeah, it's, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course, I'm going to get it right sometimes. The I told you, crap. my fortune telling is just like some occult uh, thing. Fortune telling is in the cult? Of wrong. course not! Clairvoyance is clairvoyance! They put it in the same category as cattle mutilation! Huh? Cattle. Uh, what? So. He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually. No! You calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me! Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But and before long, the, end is the sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then... Still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart! One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand! Do you realize what that means? It means... the burger wasn't 100% beef! It must have had some pork or something mixed in! Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me! <laughs> So I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill, and they totally admitted it. It wasn't a hundred percent beef. They totally mixed it in uh, mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? Now do you see that is cattle mutilation? I um, I uh, kind of got lost half through. I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. I stink of How dare you? Well, you do stink though. That's why you keep smelling your finger. That's fine. That's fine. Um. Anyway, Sakura is the spy. Oh shit! I didn't mean to say that. I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. <laughs> yeah. Me either. I mean, I would never. <laughs> of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. That goes for me too. Of course, I could never kill any of my friends. <laughs> I feel like those words of encouragement. Hey, real quick, come together real quick. One. Can we check the plant? I wish I could. I wish <laughs> I could. I would check it constantly. Charlie, I would right? Check, yeah, I would check Charlie the plant constantly. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta know about the plot of... Uh, you know, that never Charlie amounted plant. to anything, by the way. Well, it did. We gotta know what BS plant is doing. We check the plant it's every the last, fucking time. It never amounted to anything. It's the last Phoenix had of me. Uh, it, was, it was special to him, all right? After so much sacrifice and hardship, we finally become united. But, well, to be honest, I wish Biakria and Toko were here for this too. But, but they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove we were united for the time being. But within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Oh, so they die. Chihiro's already dead. Oh, so Hina dies. Shit! We began our search as soon as we finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had opened up. It was, what was Hero. Waiting for us? Hero killed Hina. Yep, Hero's the killer. Look at it. Get the fucking plan. I have to know. I'm trying, man. I can't do it. Ah. Uh, looking for you. I made a new save. That like I spend all my mono coins, so I'm gonna load that save. Uh, what? <laughs> I spent all my mono coins at the at the at the the vending machine, the gumball machine. I spent all my mono coins to get a save. It, well, to basically give us all items. Oh, for I see. Events, yeah, I did all that. Uh, let's go to the. Third floor? Yes, the third floor. 
<laughs> so now we have access to the fourth floor of Home Speak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some sort of clue. No! This time I have to find it! If anybody else finds it, I'm gonna fucking kill them. <laughs> oh, Data Lab. Oh! Did you know that? No. Data Lab. <laughs> This is my lab. That's the dumbest is, joke I'll make. Yeah, it's Maybe my lab ever. No, but, I, but that'll lab. Don't don't worry. I'll top it someday. No good. The door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the uh, data center. Data center, yeah. No, no, data center. Data center. <laughs> but what's behind the door is a total mystery. No, data lab. Music. This is the music room. It's totally even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah! Oh, well, I, uh, I, 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 as soon as I started looking around, I fell through a bunch of brick walls and attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, I saw it in the screenshot, but I didn't see it. They came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react. I didn't see who it was. And when I came to the mountains of files and documents, they were all gone. I'm sorry, I know him. how important those were. That's fine. <coughs> it's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. <laughs> and I half suspected the mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room, that must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. And you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. A little bitch. What do you think a boy is? Just a, a man with a penis? Fine. I understand. Then let me ask you something else. I gotta drink water. Oh, fuck! No, the water's gone! Oh, shit. Gotta get new water. <laughs> let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Yoko stole a quick glance of the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? Yeah, it sounded like she was asking, but it's clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then... So now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. I read that as sonnet <laughs> at first, sonnet? and I was like, where's this going? We're gonna have a Let's hear your sonnet. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? That's. <laughs> What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um. Well, <laughs> We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that we sh there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have any evidence for it. Do we tell her, or do we not tell her? Tell her. Ugh. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, they could just make things much more worse. But should keep secrets, bud. Oh, well, fuck. Uh, do we tell her, or do we not tell her? I guess we don't tell her. Oh, fuck. Well, that's boring. Say. I can't tell you. Not yet. 
correct. So that's your answer. However, but do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share. I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. Those are some parting words Kyoka left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. Maybe I should have told her. Well, fuck. It's not like I had any choice in the matter, you know? The off ice! This is... The Office? I love that show! But of course, there's no hint of any teachers that would normally be able to rely- that we'd normally be able to rely on. You know what, I think that Will Ferrell was actually un uh, pretty fucking underrated, you know what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a picture on the floor! This picture. What?! Celeste, he threw me in... Sayaka? Smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't, this isn't important somehow. You're smiling the way you would expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile in a world like that, in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here, including Sayaka. No, there's no way I'm about to commit it. It must be a fake. Yeah. <laughs> no, a fake. Manakuma popped out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. A forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landed and landed was fake too? Come on! And you're saying this picture is- What the fuck?! This picture is real? Hey, if there um... was such a thing as the Nobel, tre uh, no Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place! Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question! Is this picture real or is it fake? Oh, Mikado, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, but it's um... no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's the true. picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? What the fuck, cat? Get off the soundboard! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, Cat? Just messing with the soundboard. <laughs> um, the soundboard, actually. Is it really real? If that's true, if that's the case. Oh well, I'll leave. And I'll go look more around the school in. The next <laughs> episode. Every single day. Bye bye.